Jason, obviously not the result you'd have wanted on Sunday, but how good was it to get back out there and get back playing some rugby again? Yeah, it's a bit, a bit tough watching you know, on the sidelines, so um, very excited to get back out there, especially get back out there at King's Open this week. It was nice to get a bit of game time and sort of get a few minutes on my legs um, this week, get the lungs blowing a bit, so yeah, stoked to be back. And having had that cameo, how much better do you feel this week going into uh, the game where obviously, presumably, you'll be pushing to start? Yeah, you're coming back from soft tissue injuries, it's always you know, a bit of a juggle um, you know, when you start running and when you start playing and you know, start trying to push it in contact sessions and stuff. So even just to get a, you know, a few minutes on the weekend was you know, good for the confidence and looking forward to this, you know, have a big, week, big training this week. And yeah, I mean, uh, everyone's looking forward to getting that last run out at King's, uh, yeah, at King's Home this week. Yeah, how big is that in terms of making sure that, A, you finish the season right in front of you know, the home fans, but also the emotion of one or two people who will be leaving the club as well? Yeah, there's a couple of boys heading off. Um, it'd be nice to send them off in a, you know, with a win uh, at home for a, a last home game. But um, you know, there's been a few um, comments about you know playoffs and stuff floating around, and I just think for us at the moment, you know, we're not looking too far ahead, and you know we've got a, uh, you know, a very well drilled like, attacking side coming down here to to play us this week, and you know they've got some. Absolute freaks, you know, one on one with the ball, um, you know, on attack. So for us, it's you know just about going out there and getting it right. We missed a step last week um, against Worcester. We're a little bit off on defence, and you know we botched a number of opportunities to, you know, to score tries. So um, <clears throat> for us, putting the right, you know, putting the right foot forward, this you know, it's going to be a big week for us. And actually, you mentioned there about Newcastle and one on one, how good they can be. I suppose the key thing is to stop those opportunities getting out to those one-on-one -on -one situations, isn't it? Because they can be lethal in there. Yeah, we've got a real, you know big job on defence this week, and as I said, I think we're a little bit off um, against Worcester. Um, you know, we've got two weeks to sort of you know put that right, and um, you know what better challenge this week than trying to stop Gonover? Absolutely, and people have been having to fill in and do jobs that maybe not quite familiar to them or like Sir Matt Banahan having to do a job he hasn't done for years. I mean, how well do you actually feel that people have done? Because, you know, there has been a case of having to sort of make do amend, doesn't there? Yeah, you've got big squads, but, you know, it's a long, old season and blokes are asked for and, you know, left, right and centre. So um, having, you know, guys that can just be interchangeable and, you know, aren't too set on one position, I think, you know, that's, that's key. You know, as I said, the, the seasons are so long and, you know, Looking at our squad, I think we went from 16 injuries over Christmas to almost everyone back fit to having another 10, 12 out now. So um, you never know what you're going to get, especially this late on in the season. And, um, you know, we rely on everyone, um, you know, right from the 100 cap premiership blokes to internationals, right down to the, you know, the academy boys and stuff. Everyone's on feet and everyone's giving it, um, you know, they're all. So it's, yeah. And actually, when <coughs> someone who has been for want of a better phrase, out in the cold, when they come in, what people have said is they've been really on message. They've been up to speed with what they need to do, where they need to be, when they need to do things. How important has, has that been in an area like the back three where communication is so key? Yeah, I think that just sort of goes back to, you know, the attitude of our squad at the moment and the um, type of like environment that we're trying to, trying to breed here. Um, boys just putting their... You know, as we said before, boys just putting their egos aside and getting on with the job, whether that's um, you know wearing a bib or holding a hit shield or you know whether you're starting or you know it doesn't really matter what it is. Just um, I think a big change for us this year is everyone just sort of taking it day by day and whatever they need to do to you know get the team going and whatever's best for the team has been the you know at the forefront of everything we've done um, this year and that's going to be you know huge going going forward into the last couple of weeks. And how important into those last couple of weeks is momentum, that you can get something back this weekend? Yeah, um, it is big, it's you know, something that we've spoken about and you know, it does, I guess with where we are on the table, um, it does feel like we did drop a game you know, uh, against Worcester and you know, looking back to, to Bristol, it does feel like we've dropped two, two games that we should have won. Um, but not taking anything away from those sides, you know, you know as, as it was said before, 
that's what's great about this competition. You you have to rock up week in week out, and if you're a little bit off the mark, it doesn't matter who you're playing. You know, teams will kill you. So um, for us, it's just about turning up with the right attitude this week and making sure that we're emotionally there.